In the vast universe, the history of humanity is but a flash of light from a lone star. But among the stars, there is one light that burns brighter than all others, the light of Samus Aran. But does her light shine for mankind, or something altogether different? At approximately three years old, Samus was orphaned after the entire Earth colony of K2L was massacred by the hands of Ridley and his space pirates. Soon after the raid, the Chozo, a race of bird-like extraterrestrials, took Samus under their wings, no pun intended, and raised her as one of their own. However, in order to survive the harsh climate of the neighboring planet Zebes, Samus would have to undergo a procedure to infuse her DNA with that of the Chozo so that she could adapt to her new environment. The body adaptation machine successfully infused Samus with DNA from two separate Chozo tribes, the Thoha and the Makin. This unlikely union of genetic material from the scientific Thoha and the warrior Makin tribes resulted in Samus' unconscious control of Metroids and her unmatched agility and battle prowess. As a young adult, Samus would go on to join the Federation Police, a branch of the Galactic Federation and eventually serve pivotal roles in neutralizing a number of galactic threats, including the destruction of the space pirate base on Zebes and the alleged eradication of the X-Parasites as a solo bounty hunter. After her X-Parasite infection, during a research mission on SR388, Samus nearly succumbed to her wounds and underwent yet another life-changing procedure that involved the infusion of Metroid DNA into her genetic material. The only natural predator to the X was of course the Metroid, which the Thoha tribe had genetically engineered as the antithesis to the X-Parasite threat. Aside from her newly gained resistance to the X-Parasites, Samus also gained several unfavorable traits and weaknesses that she now shared with the Metroids, including a severe aversion to cold temperatures. Eventually, Samus adapted to her Metroid phenotype and took yet another step towards the departure from her now very distant humanity. Planet ZDR served as an environment that nurtured the predatory Metroid instincts dormant within Samus. The events that took place during Metroid Dread helped accelerate the inevitable transformation that had been stifled due to Samus' Thoha genetic makeup. In time, her strength and abilities exponentially increased, and when she lost consciousness in a battle with Ravenbeak, her subconscious Metroid form surfaced and took control. It was here that Samus' true form was revealed. It seemed that after years of hunting down the Metroid species to extinction, that her journey had come full circle. In a dark twist of irony, Samus had become that which she had so diligently hunted down. Samus' light no longer shone for humanity, for that ship had sailed when the Chozo tampered with her DNA. It's fitting that the Chozo word Metroid translates to Ultimate Warrior. Samus Aran has become, and will always be, Metroid. And that's all for this video. Until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.